What up, what up, it's Dane here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you what foods to buy at the supermarket in order to build more muscle, right? So, on a bulk, let's get this. Let's go to the supermarket. I'm shredded, bruh. I'm gonna go on a massive dirty bulk. Nah, I'm joking. Okay, so I actually forgot to end the video yesterday, so it's the following day and one thing I have to mention quickly is that when I said don't buy the chicken from Aldi, I meant the chicken breast obviously because just after that I bought the roast chicken one. So anyway, that was just for more convenience than anything. So let's get it. Okay, so let me talk you through to what foods I bought just to provide some more value for you guys. So listen in. So first of all, I'll start off with, I'm gonna go around the shop, right? Because I just edited the video and I can kind of see it's not too clear. So. And I don't want to make the video too long as well, so it's too boring for you. So let me tell you. So first of all, I picked up almond milk. The reason I don't have normal milk, and yes, you can have normal milk, whole milk, whatever milk you prefer. I mean, you can kind of see why I don't have milk, right? Because I have a few skin problems, right? It's not, it's not like major, major, well, some people might say. But anyway, whatever. That's almond milk that I picked up for number one. I have that in my oats, um, when I do actually have oats again. And then obviously in shakes and stuff like this, a masculine shake, I made a video on that. If you're interested in that, go check that out. So that was what I picked up first. Second is I got some rice and that you can see is microwave rice. Normally if I'm on a budget, and this time I didn't actually have to buy all this shit. So that was real good. But normally if I'm on a budget, I'll just buy like the rice by itself. So I put it in a pan and it's cheaper. And however, it's not more convenient. So that's rice. Now the carbohydrate sources that I normally eat are as follows. And this is so important if you're trying to build muscle right? because as we know we need to eat a calorie surplus and let's talk about the satiety index now rice it doesn't fill you up as much right and you don't necessarily need to have brown rice or white rice right just pick white rice or just pick rice that you like now that's carbohydrate sources then i have potatoes sweet potato and normal potatoes and that's basically the three carb sources that i usually have now for maybe if someone would say the breakfast carbohydrates i would have a lot of cereals, well not a lot, maybe two, brown flakes and granola, and let's add another one in oats. So that's basically all the carbohydrate sources that I consume, and yes, they are quote unquote healthy, and you need to understand that just because you eat healthy doesn't mean you're gonna necessarily build more muscle, especially if you're not in a calorie deficit. So those are the carb sources. Now let me quickly trap back, run through the shop. What I picked up next, I think it was the vegetables. I've got some red peppers, then I've got some Bananas like I took a whole bag and then obviously put it back because I didn't need so many. I got some lettuce I got some spring onions. I've got some mushrooms and basically I just got all the vegetables that I like and also got some apples I don't think I showed you that so again I'm buying vegetables or fruits that I like therefore you can sustain and maintain the diet and again I'm just trying to provide as much value Value, value here as possible because a lot of people and it might be you you go on a diet and you like eating foods that you don't like like what's the point it's not going to be sustainable you're not going to be able to adhere to it now step two or why am i saying step two the next food that i picked up were the protein sources right so as you can see or as you did see i took a lot of protein man and i know i'm probably going to get like liver problems kidney problems because i'm going to over consume protein and that's all bullshit so anyway well, it's not really because if you have like all of that in one day then maybe yeah but you know what i tried to tell you so basically i just stocked up on all that i put it in a freezer and yeah, that's basically it. it's quite simple i have turkey breast um turkey mince beef mince and then 
I also get chicken, but as you can see, I do not get chicken from Aldi. That's like seven pounds something for like four breasts, man. I have four breasts in a day, so that's crazy. So anyway, that's the protein sources. Now, healthy fats, I don't think I even picked up any healthy fats, in fact. I got, again, Greek yogurt. Again, that's another source of protein. And I just have that almost every day, right? I like that. So the healthy fats, like I said, I didn't really pick anything on that up. Um, what I would have and what, what I recommend you guys have and try and stay away from trans fats because I have mentioned this in another video healthy fats actually do show some um, correlation of increase in protein synthesis as well and this comes from Brad Schoenfeld the muscle building expert <laughs> and aka, um, not aka also known as um, I'm not also known as don't worry about that shit so anyway yeah Healthy fats, I would have peanut butter, avocados, but I didn't buy that because I never know when that shit goes ripe. Um, oils as well, coconut oil, olive oil, and yeah, that's basically all the things I would have for healthy fats. Now, if you're a hard gainer, if you're a skinny guy trying to build muscle mass, here's what I recommend for you guys. I recommend you guys when you go to the cereal section, you need to buy foods that are calorie dense, like, uh, I don't know, Cocoa Pops, Rice Krispies, stuff like this that have a lot of calories and don't fill you up. Usually though, I recommend you stick to the quote unquote healthier side of things. However, if you cannot get the calories in, then you need to go a bit dirty, right? Some people say. So, anyway, that's the end of the video, I guess. That's just all the foods I bought, and some people have probably already clicked with this video because I've been talking so long. Anyway, I like to talk to you guys, I like to provide as much value as possible. Now, here's the important part if you enjoyed the video, let me know so I can make more of these. And um, for those of you who actually watched it to this point, because if you're not gonna like, let me know, then how do I know that you wanna know more information about foods, how it relates to protein synthesis, or stuff like this, you know, how it relates to nutrition, building muscle. So anyway, you already know the deal, man. Get Big Video Series is out now. It's only gonna be out for a limited amount of time, and this is no bullshit again. So make sure to get it. It might only be out for, I think, when I'm gonna, 14 days until I wanna cancel it. So anyway, that's it. Stay positive, stay smiling, and the link is in the description if you're interested. As always, you already know the deal, man. I'll see you in the next one. Five minutes of talking shit. Yeah.